Hey, Rob from Crown of Thorns again. I forgot that for whatever reason, my phone will shut me off at like 27 minutes, 22 minutes, 27 minutes, right around there. So I guess it's gonna be a two-parter. All right, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so the new music, unfortunately, that's what most people want to hear. And I get it, it has a good dance beat. I get that, okay? Uh, but I can't, I mean, there are some, listen, there are some new songs with a good dance beat where the lyrics are entirely fine. As much as I, I, I so burn out on it, but it's like, take a song like The Cupid Shuffle. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that song. I think it's, it, it's fine. If they could even just be like that, I'd be okay with it. I could do that. But unfortunately, it's not. It's, it's a lot of this other stuff that is just so blatantly inappropriate. So blatantly full of innuendo. And then, this leads to my second part, we wonder why our kids are so sexualized. Why? Well, because every time you pull up Facebook, there's a half-naked girl. That doesn't violate community standards, but me telling the truth about, I don't know, the side effects of the horrible jab everyone's getting, that does violate community standards. Insane. Uh, YouTube. Look, I use YouTube, uh, obviously. There's where this, that's where this video will be. But there's a lot of stuff on YouTube that I don't agree with. I think it's inappropriate. But kids, can they have access to it. They watch TV shows and movies. Kid, parents allow their kids to watch TV shows and movies that they know are inappropriate and so full of uh, sex, fornication, uh, adultery, uh, nudity, and all the rest of it. And, and, and people just turn a blind eye to it. Parents, let them listen to music that glorifies all the same stuff. Movies, music, TV, all of that. That's why, that's part of why, there's many reasons why, but that's one of many reasons why our kids are having sex at 12 years old, 14, 16. Do you not see this? And again, it comes down a lot, not always, but a lot of it does come down to parenting. What are you doing? And you can say, well, I don't let my kids listen to that. I don't let my kids watch that stuff. Good. But are you doing it? Because if you are, but you're telling them it's not okay, what kind of a signal are you sending? They will find out. Kids have a way of finding out, okay? And how will you write that off? Well, I'm older, it's okay, I'm an adult. No, see in the Bible, it doesn't say that. When you're an adult, then it's okay to sin. It doesn't say that. When you're an adult, well, the rules change slightly and. What was sinful for a 12-year-old is no longer sinful. No, that's not how it works. Sin is sin no matter what age, okay? What example are you setting? What are you watching? Is it really worth it? Is it really worth it? Uh, because like I said at the top of this video, the eyes are the window to the soul. You don't even realize what you're allowing into you. What you're allowing to... Uh, uh, infiltrate your mind and your heart and pretty soon you just become desensitized to it and you start to lower your standards and you don't even realize it don't believe me look at our society now and say 60 years ago gradual decline and it happens not just a, a society as a whole it starts with the individual individuals become compromised that's how society becomes compromised uh, Look, I don't care uh, what your reasoning is. I don't care how much you want to put a spin on it. I don't care if you want to try to minimize it, justify it, whatever else. If you're watching something, I don't care how intriguing the storyline is. If it has sex, nudity, uh, excessive violence, a bunch of bad language, you shouldn't be watching it. Especially if you profess to be a saved Christian. You should know better. You should be setting a better example. You're a billboard for Christ. But more importantly, above all of that, if you're truly a saved individual, like I said before, you have the Holy Spirit dwelling within you. You are subjecting God to that disgusting, inappropriate stuff. You are subjecting God 
to that because you want your gratification. What's more important, making yourself happy or pleasing God? Question that you'll have to answer. Uh, I've made a decision, I made it a long time ago, especially once I got saved, that I was gonna uh, remove a lot of stuff from my life. Certain TV shows, movies, uh, music, and then I got into this business and found myself right back in that same position. Now, a lot of the songs that I play for weddings or whatever else, you would not you would not catch me listening to that outside of my business. And I'm not justifying it. I'm not saying that makes it okay. I'm just saying I would not listen to that garbage. You would never ever hear that in my home or in my vehicle, ever, okay? Uh, I got rid of that stuff a long time ago and for good reason. It's not appropriate. It does not glorify God. It does not help my witness to God. It, it, if I were to listen to that kind of music or watch those kinds of TV or movies and then go out and try to win someone to Christ, what a hypocrite I would be. I don't want to be that. And that's why, like I said, for the past few years especially, I've really started to struggle with this stuff. Because it seems like the music just gets more and more inappropriate month by month, year by year. And I'm at a point now where uh, I'm just leaving it in God's hands. If I end this, and I think I'm going to, if I end this, this aspect, especially the DJ part, at the end of this wedding season, I will fulfill my commitments because I made a commitment, I will see them through. If I do that, I put it in God's hands to help me to find the next thing that will help me to make a living. Uh, like I said, excuse me, even if I just do all the other aspects of the wedding services, just not the music part. Or, hopefully, and I'm praying, that this channel will be, excuse me, will become my full-time ministry. That I could do this and somehow uh, be able to support my wife and I off from this. That would be a blessing, a huge blessing. But we will see, you know, God will provide. So uh, it's about faith, really. And I just need to have faith that uh, by walking away from this, God will provide in another way, whether it's through this channel or if it's through the rest of the wedding services or a combination thereof or something completely new that I haven't even thought of yet. God might have something completely, uh, something else completely in mind for me that he hasn't revealed to me yet. That's okay. I'm not scared, I'm not afraid. God provides. So, uh, like I said, I'm like 99% certain that this is going to be my last season doing the DJing part, definitely. The rest of the wedding services, I'm not sure yet. We'll see how that works out. But I know for one thing, I know one thing for sure, this channel, which thank God continues to grow, this is my priority. This is where I like to spend my time is uh, teaching God's word to the best of my ability, learning from other people, and uh, you know, talking with you folks uh, every time I do one of these videos. I love it. And getting your feedback, your questions, your comments. I love that. Uh, this is where I want to be. This is where I think God wants me to be. And I think that this is where I can do the most good. This is where I can save the most people. I can't save them. Let me rephrase that. Where I can lead the most people to Christ and Christ will save them. Uh, so that's me. But it would be really hard for me uh, in my own mind and in my own heart to do this channel. And then, like I said, I'm going to walk to my vehicle here shortly, get in my vehicle and then turn on some inappropriate music and jam out to it. I would just have a really hard time with that. Now, I have a wedding tomorrow, actually, and I'm sure there's going to be some songs requested that I do not like. But I've made those commitments, so uh, contracts have been signed and all the rest of it, so I will follow through. I will do what I'm being paid to do. Uh, I will tune it out as much as I can. Uh, but know this, when that wedding is over and every wedding after this, uh, when those weddings are done, I guarantee you when I get my vehicle <laughs> that it will not be on my stereo. That will not be on the radio. 
um, I will be listening to something like Striper or Elvis or Revelation Rain, the Christian rock band that I'm in. And I'd really like to see that take off too. And we've done really well over the past few years. Um, I don't want to spend too much time on this because it's a different topic and a different channel, but uh, check out my Revelation Rain channel if you'd like to. It's good. Uh, it's hard rock music, but it's it's Christian music. It's uh, uh, like Striper. I'd like to see that also be a way. And I tell you what, I've had a lot of people come to me after our shows and ask, what do I need to do to have what you have? And I've led several people to Christ because of Revelation Rain. So that's where I want my emphasis and my focus to be is where can I glorify God? Whether it's through music, whether it's through the, these videos, whether it's handing out tracks, witnessing to someone, soul winning, whatever it may be, what can I do to get the most number of people saved? All right. And uh, I think you would be hard pressed to find someone who got saved by listening to Baby Got Back by Sir Mix-a-Lot. Just saying, okay? Uh, or any of those other songs. Um, and that's actually one of the least offensive songs, if you can believe that. Anyway. So anyway, guys, uh, I wanted to go for a walk. One, because it's nice out. Two, because it's good exercise. But three, because I wanted to talk to you about this. I put up the post on my Facebook page and on my Crown of Thorns Facebook page. Uh, kind of hinting at what the next video would be, maybe. Um, but I thought, well, I'll go for a walk, and while I'm walking, I'll record. Uh, kill two birds with one stone. Um, a lot of traffic today. Anyway, uh, so that's what I decided I would do. It's something that's been on my mind for a while, and again, uh, I'm not picking on anybody in particular. I'm not picking on any group of people or anything else. Uh, like I said, we're all guilty of something. We all have stuff we're working on. We all have our vices. Um, but I thought, you know what? It's something that I'm turning over in my head as far as, you know, this whole DJ thing. Well, I'm sure other people are dealing with it on a different level. So I might as well talk about that and hopefully somebody will get something out of it. We shall see. Uh, just know that um, uh, God loves you. If you're a saved Christian, he loves you. And uh, he doesn't always agree with everything that we do, but we should try our best that uh, to do whatever it is that will glorify God, right? So anyway, I uh, wanted to make a short video. I thought it was going to be short, but we always know, we all know how that always turns out. It never turns out to be a short video, does it? Now it's uh, broken up into two pieces, but that's all right. So anyway, uh, guys, uh, hope you enjoyed this. Hope it's been a blessing to you. Questions, comments, you know what to do. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Take care and God bless.